So in this video, we're going to integrate 1 over 1 plus x squared over 9 dx. Now, the trick is to make sure you can spot the correct format. So it's definitely this one because we don't have the square root. Okay. Now, it's not quite in the nice format that we want because it's not in 1 over a squared plus x squared because we've got the x squared over 9 here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 9. We'll have the integral of 9 over 9 plus x squared dx. So if I pull the 9 out of the integral, we've got 9 times the integral of 1 over 9 is 3 squared. And so you can see that it's in this format where a is 3. So this is equal to 9 times 1 over a, so 1 over 3, arctan of x over 3 plus some constant c, which is equal to 3 arctan x over 3 plus c. And so that is, is the result of the integral. Okay. Now, if you want to do it more formally, then from here, you could do x is equal to, now in the previous video you all have seen we used uh, a tan u. So if we do 3 tan u, then dx by du would be 3 sec squared u. So dx is equal to 3 sec squared u du. So we'd have the integral of, we would have 9 in the numerator. We've got 9 plus this squared, so 9 tan squared u, times by 3 sec squared u du, okay, which is equal to the integral of. Now, we can cancel through the 9s here and have 3 sec squared u in the numerator over 1 plus tan squared u in the denominator, which of course is the integral of 3 sec squared u over sec squared u du, which is the integral of 3 du, which is 3u plus c. Now, if x is equal to 3 tan u, divide both sides by 3, we get x over 3 equals tan u. So u would have to be arc tan of x over 3. Like that. So this would be the integration by substitution method to get there. Alternatively, using the previous results that we found, we can get to there a little bit faster.